Bugs Are Insects by Anne Rockwell, illustrated by Steve Jenkins. There are many kinds of insects living all around us. Ants are insects, so are crickets and mosquitoes, so are butterflies and bees. Insects come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. They don't all look alike, but there's a way to tell if something is an insect. Count its legs. Count how many parts make up its body. Is a ladybug an insect? All insects have external skeletons. You have a hard skeleton inside with parts that move. Your skeleton holds you up and gives your body its shape. But an insect has a hard skeleton on the outside with parts that move. The skeleton is like a shell around its body. It holds the insect up and gives its body its shape. A ladybug has an external skeleton. Does that mean it's an insect? Maybe not. All insects have external skeletons, but not all animals with external skeletons are insects. Crabs, lobsters, shrimp, and scorpions have external skeletons too, but they are not insects. Many insects have two pairs of wings and a pair of antenna. Sometimes the antenna are long like those of crickets or butterflies. Sometimes they're short like those of beetles. But all insect bodies are divided into three parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. There are six legs attached to the thorax. Anything that has six legs and three body parts is an insect. A ladybug has six legs and three body parts. Is it an insect? Now, look at a spider. Is it an insect? It has an external skeleton, but count its legs. How many does it have? Now count how many body parts it has. A spider has eight legs, not six. Its body is divided into two parts, not three. So it's not an insect. A spider is an arachnid. Scorpions and daddy long legs are arachnids too. Now we know that a ladybug is an insect. But is it really a bug? We sometimes call insects bugs. Many people think the two words mean the same thing, but they don't. A bug is an insect with a mouth like a beak and a head that forms a triangle. A stink bug is a bug, so is a bed bug, so is a water strider, even though it doesn't have the word bug in its name. But a ladybug's mouth doesn't look like a beak. Its head isn't shaped like a triangle. A ladybug isn't a bug at all, it's a beetle. Beetles are insects with a pair of hard wings you can't see through that hides a second pair of clear wings. The hard wings make a straight line down the top of the abdomen when they are closed. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of mouth parts to suck, pierce, bite, or chew. A mosquito has a mouth that can pierce your skin and draw blood. A butterfly has a long curled up mouth part for sucking nectar from flowers, just like you suck juice through a straw. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of legs as well. Crickets have long back legs for jumping. Water boatmen have wide flat legs for paddling. Bees have fuzzy legs that can carry pollen from flower to flower. Grasshoppers have legs for making music. Some insects are good builders. Ants build tunnels. Bees build honeycombs of wax that come from their bodies. Wasps build paper nests. These insects live in large communities where each helps the others. No matter what they look like or how they live, all insects have six legs and three body parts. Here are some of the creatures you might find in your backyard. Are they insects? Insects are all around, flying through the air, chewing on leaves, creeping through grass. Scientists think that there are more kinds of insects than there are kinds of fish or birds or any other animal in the world. Look in your own backyard and see how many insects you can find and always remember to count their legs. Hi, Mrs. Case here. I hope you enjoyed the book, Bugs Are Insects. It's one of my favorites. So I happen to have an insect right here. 
don't get too excited. It's not real. It's just a model. And um, it's a rather large model too, which is good because ladybugs are quite small insects. And I thought maybe we could take a close look at this insect. So I'm going to drop my screen down a little bit here so you can see the insect. So in our book, do you remember when it said an insect had to have a certain number of legs? Do you remember how many legs an insect has? You're right, six. Let's make sure our ladybug has six legs. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes, our ladybug has six legs. It also said that an insect had to have a certain number of body parts. Do you remember how many body parts an insect had? Right again, three. It has three body parts. The head, one. The thorax, two. And the abdomen, which is three. Let's turn our ladybug over so you might be able to have a closer look at that. So here's the head, there's the thorax, and there's the abdomen. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Insects also have antenna, and we can see the antenna right there on our insect. Now, do you remember in the book when it talks about bugs are insects? Is a ladybug a bug? No, it's not. It's a beetle. It's a beetle. If you said beetle, you're right. A ladybug is a beetle, but bugs and beetles are insects. You're right on that. So I also have a little bit more to go along with this insect information. So our ladybug has a life cycle, just like many other animals. So the ladybug will lay eggs. And here's a model of some ladybug eggs. So if you find a leaf in your garden with a whole bunch of little eggs like this, you may have found ladybug eggs. Now, out of those ladybug eggs will come a larva. And the larva very much like a caterpillar larva starts off small and gets bigger and bigger. And this is what a ladybug larva looks like. And we can still see that it has the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And look, how many legs do you see? You're right, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's those six legs. This ladybug larva will eat aphids and it, just like in a caterpillar, it will eat and eat and eat and grow and grow and grow. And then it will get to the point where it'll need to make a pupa. And the pupa is the final stage before the ladybug is fully grown. So it will attach itself to a leaf, very much like a chrysalis of a butterfly, and it will stay in the pupa form probably from 3 to 12 days and then it will be the adult ladybug. And the ladybug develops bright colors soon after this pupa stage and the ladybugs can live 3 to 9 months. They can even sleep through the winter and awake in the spring. Some people think ladybugs are good luck. And they like them in the gardens because ladybugs eat the aphids and sometimes the aphids can damage their plants. So here is our life cycle of a bug or an insect. Right. I hope you have a chance to get out into a garden or out on a hike and you might see some of these insects on your exploration. Have a great day.
Bye.